exactly where the party is. Uh, we got some new art done um, down there. Uh, Anton's picture done by um, our very own Ninja Kitty 2014 on Twitch. She tends to draw. Check her out. Um, we got some, we got TC who's doing a um, sale on art as well, so um, you can, we'll get a command going there uh, when the players do the wrap up. So, Good. hello players. Hi. Hello. Hello. So, so, Hi. I heard someone's ready to try try a recap. We're gonna try. All right. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it off to you to recap last episode. Well, we started with Antlin and Brianna at the tavern. They decided to go to Brianna's room to look for Bella Bean, of course. While they were in there, they could not find her, but they did end up finding an open window. So they headed outside in the rain try and find her. And then we came back to the barn where Thomas's mother thinks the noises are from Rosalind's actual husband. Some doors were opened. Eliana looks outside, saw nothing. That's not right. I thought she looked outside and saw the critters. All, do all doors were closed. Oh, we closed all the doors downstairs, but the upstairs one was open. That's when Ileana went up the stairs and saw the critters. They looked like bipedal jackals. When she shut the door, something jumped in. Turned out it was Bellamine. Uh, Mad looked out the front door quickly. There was nothing there, but the noises increased as soon as the door was opened. And then back to Antlin and Brienne in the cornfield. They could not find tracks because well, they just realized that Bellamine could fly. She decided to go north. This is about the time that the critters began to attack. Antlin and Brienne joined us from outside and did their best. They did great taking out the ones outside. And most of us ended up fighting a, well, boss monster which charged because Mad struck it from the dark or in the darkness. Um, as we're all licking our wounds after that fight, chimes and bells started ringing from the town. Bella, uh, Bellamine was sent up to fly out to sea, came back that there were fires. And the very last noticed it, or took interest in Ileana from outside. And if I heard it right, a single grape was rolled in. That's that's where we left off. So, you all are sitting in here as Ileana, this grape rolls slowly uh, across the dirt and straw and kind of hits your boot. Oh. All right, she'll bend down and pick it up. It's okay, grape. She will look back to where it was dropped. Yeah, it's out of um, kind of like this door. Uh, ping again. Right through this door somewhere. Oh. Uh, she'll glance to Mad and uh, Dragon, and then she'll look out. You look out, and you see another grape slowly kind of rolling from the crops. Oh. Uh, she would turn back to the group and hold up the grape and say, I, 
I found a grape. There's another one outside. It might have fallen from a tree, but from uh, a tree in the fields of corn. Hey. From from the from the grape trees. Do, do you have grape trees here? Great. Two things. Okay. Um, first of all, I love you. Always have. Second thing, um, grapes don't grow on trees, they grow on vines. Thomas deck save. Okay. Did, did we see any grape vines when we were coming through the... You the... came south, anyways. This is coming from the north. Real quick, I'm going to ask, do we need to whisper? Uh, at this point, you don't need to whisper right now, because you're going to be going into something else. Uh, Thomas, you instinctively take a step to your right as a bucket lands where you were hitting. And you see your mom. You're not supposed to profess your love to another woman when you're married. And the bucket just hits so, the ground. Sorry, Mom. I was just trying to test to make sure that Rosen was so loyal to me. He looks over at you. I really do love you. Rosen just yawns. Oh. So. Uh. I was going to go check it out. Do you need us to go with you? It's been um, it, there's kind of alarm bells going off in town, and you know it's kind of burning or whatever, and you know bad things or whatever. Um, I don't think looking at grapes could really help. Oh, she looks back outside. Another grape slowly rolls towards you. You will pick it up. You know, have three grapes. Oh. Hello? There's no response. But the sounds of the night. Go to the door, and I'll look, or a different door, and look out. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can't see anything. I, if you're hurt, you can come in. We won't hurt you. No response. No movement. Weird. Another grip begins to roll towards you. This is weirding me out. A little bit. What kind of grapes are they? Uh, purple grapes. Seedless, you think. You don't huh. need one, so. It's true. Thank, thank you for the grapes. She'll bite into one. Tasty, a little dirty, but tasty. We've been rolling on the ground through an animal pen, onto the straw, through the blood. But yeah, they're, they're tasty. <laughs> I assume you cleaned it off first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she would have. Um. Couple grapes roll this time. Somebody seems to want our attention, or at least yours. Seems like it. I'll, I'll go check it out if I'm not back in a little bit. Do you want me to go with you? If, if you want mine? I will, not a problem. I can go with her also. I'm not sure how many of you guys can actually see in the dark. I can. She points to her ears. He points to his obviously ears. Good point. I agree. That was a high quality point to the ears. Yep. Hmm. I've been hanging around you too long, Thomas. 
And that's not a bad thing. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back. So Ilya and Antlin make their way out. What are the rest of you discussing as they go out searching for the grapes? Tama, you aside a little bit. Is there any way I can oh, get you to have your mom not yeah. talk about yeah. what yeah. happened in here tonight? Mom, you willing not to talk about this tonight? I don't want to know what you did in my, my house with your wife. And Eliana. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Oh. Ah, this time he, you know, he smiles, does a little wink towards you, Rosalind, and then you just see this whoosh, wooden spoon crack him across the back of that. He's like, ah. God, why? <laughs> <laughs> Rosalind, deck safe. What? Rosalind, deck safe. You heard him. <laughs> oh, I need to set my thing to whispers. You don't have to. You can bring out your phone. Oh. Okay. Oh. You you laugh, you kind of hunch over, and then you see just just skimming the top of your head. Uh oh, thing. You guys said in 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 sickness and in health. I had to be in pain. <laughs> she yells down to you, Russell. She'll just shrug. Okay. Any other conversations? I'd go back to the window and just watch okay. uh, into the darkness. Yep. So, man, oh god, Rosal. Actually, never mind. She'll just be watching, mad suspiciously. So half the party is watching; the other half of the party is suspiciously. So they got it. <laughs> Rosalind watching, mad Thomas watching the dragon. I thought the dragon flew off. It's coming back. Sorry. I, just, I saw it on the screen. Brain fart. So, Ileana and Antlin, you guys make your way up towards this this corn where you kind of see another grape drop um, and start rolling. Still don't see anything. But it's definitely somewhere in this corn. Oh. I, I, I don't see anything. H Hello? Uh, you dropped your grapes. Can I look... Uh, towards where the grape came from? Yeah. I figured that's where you guys would be looking. Yes. I mean, it wouldn't make much sense to look in the other direction. Yeah, you don't, you don't see, readily see anything. Eliana, look back to Antlin. Um, I'm gonna check the corn. Just do, I, do we hear anything? Do you hear anything? I'll roll perception. You hear a little bit of rustling uh, inside the corn somewhere. Alan points towards the corn and says, and just, you know, tells Ileana, well, something's over there. I'm not sure what. Doesn't sound big. Oh, maybe all the animals were in the barn, though. Most of the animals are kind of slaughtered at your feet, or what were at your feet when you walked out. Yeah. They became dinner. Mm. This is true. But maybe it was a calf or something that broke free and for some reason eats grapes? I... Mm. Hello? Hello? She's gonna step into the corn. If I get like snatched uh, and killed, go and tell the rest of the party. What's Antlin's response? He blinks and just looks to her, then pulls out his his uh, swords and just looks to her more and says, "Why would I leave you behind?" So you could inform the others. In that case, I'll just yell, because they're not that far. So, 
Ileana, on the pointing of Antlin, you make your way in, and then you see you, you eventually come across a bag. It's like a burlap sack that's been torn open. You know, you realize as you look at it, there's 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 some grapes. You know, it was a bag of grapes, and it seems like somebody's been carrying grapes out and probably dropping a couple of them as they roll towards you. Oh. Yeah, there is a hole in the back. She'll pick up the sack. Alright, so as you bend down to pick up the sack, dexterity saving throw. Okay. You look up, and then you see nothing but darkness. As Antlin, you see something fly from the corn and seemingly latch onto her face. <laughs> He's going to run over and see what the hell is on her face. It's uh, it's furry. It's got, it's got a tail. It looks like it has, you know, some, some flaps of skin that helps it glide. Would you like to make a nature check? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, I know what it is. Ah! Yeah, you're kind of freaking out, probably. Ah! You don't know That's what it is. Help. It's some weird, some weird furry creature. It's latched onto her face. And it, in, in its mouth has, has a single grape. Looks at you, Antlin. I'm going to grab it by the scruff of its neck and pull it away. Give me an athletics check. I'm going to roll for the squirrel. Uh, to <laughs> Antlin? There's something. Got me. I've got something. I found something. There's a just thing. Hold on. Hold still. And it goes to try and pull it off, and it just, it's moving itself and shaking its butt with a negative three to its roll and beat you in. <laughs> and it's still attached to Leona's face. Ow, 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 ow. I pull harder. All right, roll me again. Ow, ow. What is it? Why won't you go off? What is it? <laughs> Anthony goes to wrap his fingers around it again. I need you to roll again because you guys tied. Helen, just tell me what it is. He doesn't know. Uh, She doesn't know that. He's a ranger. He's touted that he's like, oh my god, I am the man of the woods. (laughs) (laughs) Another roll off. Oh, there it is. Yeah, with ease this time, Antlin is at net once. (laughs) And comes securely off. He's holding it by the tail. It's a fuzzball, and it's you know it's 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 chirping and making all sorts of noise. Oh, ow! Uh, she rubs her face. It's 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 like around the mouth is this pure purple, from like the juice. Oh, oh hi! It's currently wiggling in Anton's grasp. <laughs> uh, she, she would. Uh, it's a. Uh, you do make I know? A nature it? check. Hmm. It's a furry thing. <laughs> so as you you get a, as you get a really good look at it, it attempts to break Anthlon's grapple. So it can use acrobatics, and it's gone, and it just flies back and lands on top of your head, holding on. It's a flying squirrel. It's a flying squirrel. Look at that. I got a net 20 on my nature. I'm happy. <laughs> Sav, I swear to God, if there's a moose in this. If there's a what? If there's a <laughs> moose in this. <laughs> Thomas, you hear a weird bull call. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aim my bow. <laughs> no, it's, it's got a... Secure, it has secured itself to to your head right now, Eliana. As you're holding oh. the, the bag of grapes. Oh. Uh. Hello. Uh, she would look up, even though she, I assume she can't see it. Uh, no, but... it's, it's heads out far enough. It's, yeah. well, hi. Uh, you should be careful, little one. There's, there were scary things. 
she, she hands him one of the grapes. You drop these. Hap- happily eats it. Kind of purrs oh. slightly. That kind of cooing sound. Oh. Hugler says voted for Moose. <sighs> She's gonna look around and just make sure that that was it. There's no more wrestling. Yeah, there's no more wrestling. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, she looks back to Antlin. We should go. We can go back and tell him that we just found this thing. It's a flying squirrel, Antlin. Never seen one like that. Well, one that could fly at least. Then he starts walking back. Hey, wait up! <laughs> as you carry, as you make her carry this big bag of grapes. How big is it? It's like a five-pound bag. Big burlap sack full of grapes. Do you want me to carry that for you? Uh, sure. He takes Flying the bag. Squirrel eyes, Antlin. It's okay. He'll give him back. She reaches up and pets the little squirrel. He allows you to pet it. Aww. He likes me. We should head back. Before... Out of character, we split the party more. <laughs> so those of you inside, uh, the barn catches on fire. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so eventually, you know, they're gone for a good ten minutes, Matt, before you see them coming back out of the crops. Uh, Antlin carrying some sack and something weird on Ileana's head. You they're coming back. Took them long enough. Good, I'm getting tired of getting shit thrown at me. Deck safe. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I saw it coming. Hold on. Both of you. <laughs> what did Rosalind do? He's your husband. Married Thomas. <laughs> you married him. You lived. <laughs> Rosalind. Oh. You're not quite sure what hit you. Thomas, you either. It doesn't smell that great. <laughs> I'm running out of things to throw up here. And you said shit, so I, th- I figured I should return the favor. What the f- What- What the fuck? <sighs> oh, Dex oh, saves again. Mom, please don't throw that at her! Please don't throw that at her! <laughs> Dex saves again to both of you. Uh, just like a big clump of, uh, Thomas, you just avoid it. Rosalind, a, a big clump of, like, you know, hay and straw hit you in the exact spot where Whatever that smelly substance was. I Thomas, your mother is driving me crazy. I'm all ready to step out here. Step out of the barn. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh what? Man, already? This doesn't take long for a married life, does it? You're not. I told you we're not married. <sighs> As Ileana your, 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 your mouth tells me no, but your eyes tell me yes. Thomas, just don't talk to me. Hey, is that lunch? And she points to the furry thing on top of Ileana's head. Atlin smells the air and kind of squints his eyebrows and says, What is that awful smell? Atlin, hold me! I'm going to run up and jump into his arms. <laughs> make, me, am, make me opposing dexterities. Because he can land on the bag this time. That's you know, true. I'll simply drop the bag. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you oppose dexterities? So one from you, Antelope, please. Okay. Antelope just sidesteps his toes, <clears throat> landing smack dab on your back, wind knocked out of you. Get breathe! I think you need a water barrel. <laughs> Are you ever going to stop doing that? <laughs> Still can't breathe. <laughs> I'll wait Ellen. a few seconds and then pay, help him up. Yeah. Ellen shuffles away from the stinkiness. Rosalind, I, I want to know what Thomas's mother hit me with. So, give me a nature check. Oh. <laughs> it's probably shit. Yes, ma'am. 
What is on your head? It's a flying squirrel. <laughs> Not a clue in the world. Around. Why is there a flying squirrel on your head? And you mind you, it's an entire round of mouth uh, area. Matt is purple. Deep purple. Yep. As Antlin, what? Do I even want to know what happened out there? We found I... uh, we found some heard some rustling, and this I think it was this little guy that kept dropping grapes, and he had this big burlap sack. It's full of grapes, and he really likes them. And he was eating them. I picked up the bag, and he launched itself on my face. And you uh, Antlin... might want to turn the burlap sack o- over because you're still dropping grapes. Oh! Oh no! Am I? Yeah. How many groups fell out? Not not tons, but slow, slow, steady, you know, huh. stream of them. Thank you, man. Do you have a pack, Ileana? Yeah. He puts the burlap sack in her pack. You can Ouch. See, you, you can feel the. Uh, the, the flying squirrel running down your back, going into your backpack, grabbing grapes. <laughs> oh, oh, that feels weird. Is that is is that food? No, it's uh. Well, it you should just stuff that in my backpack. Still can't breathe. I helped you up. Open your <laughs> open your nose. <laughs> Oh, well, that works miracles, huh? But it doesn't help with the smell. You hear a, the, a sound of, like, two wings as the golden wormling lands and looks at you. So... It looks at us. All the people you grew up with are still kind of okay. Thomas ignores him and turns the other way. Exactly what you're doing to them right now and looks towards everyone else. We should probably go. What do you mean by okay? What would you and just... almost. Yeah. They what was... aren't uh, dead yet. Thomas walks out. What Thomas. is going on? Is he going to leave? Or wait, does Alan know about Which his mother being there? Which direction are you walking out? Thomas. Uh, North or south? The town is south. North was back towards your house. He'll walk just, towards the north. Okay, just curious which way you were going. Yep. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll move you up there. Then. Okay. Just for relevance's sake. Right on. I'll take the, I'll take the lantern and go with me. By the way. <laughs> One of the two lanterns. Okay. Yep. Yeah. They're they've been round up by more of those. Nulls. Right. right by the right in the center of the town. They look like they're gonna get pulled away. I I I assume that they eat your kind. I just that's that's an assumption. We've yeah. gotta get to them quickly. Thomas, we're gonna need you. Thomas? Please. <sighs> Thomas. Thomas is still You're... walking. Even after being called after? Yep. Rosin's gonna go. Right after. I mean... Is he going north? He's going in the opposite direction. Is he not gonna help the people of his city that he's known most of his life? Or are we simply going to ignore it also and follow him? I don't want to split up again, so let's go get him. Agreed. And we'll leave them to whatever fate they are while we go. That is not what we said. We are currently just momentarily getting Thomas. <laughs> Time is of the essence. Together. It's going to take us anyway. A few more minutes hopefully would not make a difference. Let's go then. Thank you. So the party begins to head out. Well, I mean, I'll to stay behind. As an intelligent creature, 
who, you know, it's not yeah. like he doesn't, is not aware of the disdain from Thomas. Stays to kind of watch Thomas's mother. I was going to say, I was going <laughs> to call back to the mother and say, we're going to get your son. You be safe. Brain will okay. give Bella a hug before she follows. Mm -hmm. He leaves his mother with a dragon. <laughs> So, you guys, Tommy Thomas has not gotten too far because your reaction was pretty quick. Um, short legs. He's, he's, yeah, short legs. He's only about maybe 40 feet, 50 feet from you in total. And the fact that he has a lantern, he's quite easily to, to see in the middle of the dark field. Get up to him. Go ahead. No, she's going to say, Thomas, where are you going? I'm going to my house, I'm going to go get stuff, and then I'm going to town. We came to get you to go to town with us, so is there anything we can help you get? Yeah, rid of the dragon. What's important that you need inside your house? I need to make sure that nothing's in there to, that would be attacking my mother again. Well, he looks to to Brianna and looks back to Thomas. I'm pretty sure she's safe with with uh, Bellamy. Thomas stops. He turns right back around and then walks right back to the barn. Thomas, you gotta be kidding me. Bellamy literally helped us. No. The dragon literally saved its own skin. Everything that's been caused nowadays is because of that thing. It's the end of the world, remember? She did remember nothing that story to I told you. you. Excuse me? I wasn't talking to you there, princess. She is the symbol of the end of the world. And all of y'all are acting like this is an okay thing. She has done nothing to you but help. She is the symbol of the end of the world, but it doesn't mean that the end of the world is coming right quickly. There's not... And as far as I'm aware, it's not the dragon that's at fault. It's whatever these creatures that have been fighting us this entire time has caused. Right. Got it. Because, you know, we weren't having any other problems until this dragon showed up, right? I don't know about you, but my problems have shown up ever since I joined Orion. Mine showed up years ago, before I came to this part of the land. I've always run from dragons. Mine dry. showed up year, like before I met Bella. So you don't get to say anything about no, her. She's no, done oh. nothing to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were all in this together. That's what I thought, but you want to kill my friend. Who said anything about and I'm sorry, huh? but no. No. You want to kill my friend? I'm not going to let that happen. Nobody okay. said anything about killing anyone. Alright, tell you what. Tell you what. Why don't you just go off and do whatever y'all need to do? And how are you going to find your friend that's been missing? I'll find a way, apparently. In a city that's, on, that's being apparently attacked by many more gnolls? Baron, I don't know if you heard, but uh, the, apparently there's more gnolls inside the city and they're rounding up some of the, the townsfolk. The I, people I, that you've known most of your life. I, I want to help them. I want to help then them too. Go, then go and help them. Okay? We'll go and help them. But I want nothing to do with this thing. This thing is nothing but trouble. It has caused nothing but heartache. Not to me. Not to me. Then after that, we'll go our own separate ways. You know, I've never really heard of the end of the world until you've mentioned it. Legends and plus, uh, if you think... Tells, like, there's, there's out of character, Th know. Thomas doesn't... Th uh, Atlan doesn't... Never heard of that before. Out of character, Thomas has mentioned it several times in character. No, I know... Mm -hmm. he, I'm saying it before Prior in the past... Prior to me. 
Yeah. Okay. Anyways, back to the in character. Um, no, in character, Ileana would say that it's in, as far as I know, it's in all the bard tales, right? Some bard tales, yes. Yeah. So Ileana would heard him. It's, it's in the tales. That's what they always say. That it's the end of the world. I've never heard never. that until, until he's shown up. I consider it all child consider, stories. Considering that we used to be called the North, and the Plains used to be the Endless Plains, and then these two people showed up, everything that we know about this world is backwards now. We are considered the South, the Plains is the North. So and in other words, what you're saying is... Road. So hold on. So you're, what you're telling me is that my ideas can be backwards, correct? But not yours? No, mine so are backwards dragon, all along. I never okay, said. Okay, so so you don't know if this dragon really is into the world or not. Neither is what do you. You're me. I do know. I've heard the stories. Stories. How many times and have you walked into a tavern? How many times have <gasps> you walked into a tavern and listened to a drunkard? I've more times than you can count. And they're always sure. right. Have the tales ever been exaggerated? The bards, of course they have been. But I don't trust this thing. So once this is over, to... we'll go our separate ways. I can't make you stay with us, but I would like you to because of the uh, threat coming after us. If that us thing's in a few with days. us, then I'm not staying. If that thing's with us, that's another chance for survival against whatever's chasing us. We'll discuss that you. after we help the. She town. is not a thing. She is a her. I'm sorry. The end of the world. I do not want traveling with me. Thomas, you remember in the Bard stories about how it talked about the end of the world? Well, if Bellamine was born from a mom, then, like, for a minimum, there's been at least a dragon way before her for hundreds and hundreds of years. If it was the end of the world, why hasn't the world ended yet? Because it's still alive. But her mom isn't. There's been other dragons before her. And, and I the imagine. world hadn't ended when, her dragon was, when the dragon was dead, was it? No, but why hasn't they destroyed the world before now? Honestly, before the... Uh, before like, the... We didn't the even elder, know. Before the elder of my, of my town was brutally murdered... He's lived hundreds and hundreds of years before you, and he spoke of nothing of the end of the world to me. Can we discuss this on the road? I want to get to the, the villagers. I agree, Matt. I agree. You guys make your way to the barn. Um, Bellamine just kind of moving around, keeping watch. Uh, Thomas's mother's still up in the loft. As you guys all arrive back to the bar. If you don't feel comfortable getting your stuff, um, what? if you tell us what to get, if you tell me what to get, I can run out and get it. Or just search the house for you if you want. I just wanted to search the house. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. And let's be quick. And help your... Do you want help searching? Or... I'll stay here with your mom. He looks at uh, Brianne, points to the dragon, and says, keep it away from her. I don't control her. She does whatever she wants. Yes, like in the world. We've established this. She hasn't yet. Can we get going? Please? No, it's not over. The dragon walks, looks to Thomas. Next time we'll let your mom be eaten and flies off into the night. <sighs> Brianne looks at Thomas and says, Good job. And she just follows after. You yep. won't be able to see it at Stark Oh, it's here. She has a torch. Thing. Yeah, it's remember these things move quickly. They have like an eighty foot high speed. And a yeah, uh, uh, running start mm -hmm. or flying start. 
I think it's six. It's still it's still double your movement at least. It's forty five. You know her. She's just circling, make, keeping an eye out. I'm gonna, um... I'll kind of, like, sit on the ground under where she's circling. She's circling the barn. I'm keep watch for you. I asked Thomas's mom to come down to and stay with uh, with me. And she does. Thomas, please be quick. Okay. Thomas will go and search the house. Yeah, you go through, you know, taking your time to make sure, you know, especially because you don't want to be jumped by anything. This house seems fine, seems secure. Okay. No problem. I'm going back out and he'll be like, yeah. Um, it looks like everything's okay. He'll go and tell his mom, uh, Mom, I need you to stay in the house. Lock the doors. Don't let anything in. We'll be back hopefully as soon as possible. She uh, she stops, looks to you at the, at the front door, and says something to you in Halfling, which okay. I, I will send to you in a whisper. Okay, rock on. Uh... Yeah, but they're 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 aside um, to that whisper, whether you speak it or not. There you go. That's what she says and nods, gives you a kiss on on the you know the forehead. And goes in securing yourself down like in the storage cellar. Okay. We start heading south. Yep. Okay, which way are you guys going south? Are you going down the main drag? Or are you going to try and go through the fields and come up on like the outsides of the buildings for cover? I would prefer to look down the roads to keep an eye out. You remember you have people with light, the other thing I say? So you would be coming as, as a beacon down that road. Mm. We should go through the fields so we can hide behind houses when we get there. Antlin and I can see. We can... If you didn't want to use the light. I... You, you could also barely keep these lit just enough to see. Okay, cool. Like, you know. Uh, Thomas, if, remember you're at Thomas's family house. He probably grabs Thomas. You, would you have grabbed the bullseye lanterns, the ones that you could? Yeah, I would. I would grab yeah. Uh, yeah. the and, ones. And the ones that allow you to kind of be a little bit stealthier. I would say that right. you, pick, you pick a couple of them up. You're at your house. You know right where they were. Right. Thanks, mom. I'm borrowing these. Uh, when we can actually see the houses from the, the fires from the house, and we're close to the lanterns off. Mm -hmm. So, you guys make your way through the fields. I need everyone to roll me a stealth check. This is one for the whole tra travel. Instead of making a ton of them over the near hour, you'll be going through the fields. Or oh. like 40 minutes. I mutters to herself, should have been, should have tried, should have played hide and seek more. <laughs> uh, Rosalind, do you have disadvantage on stealth? She's wearing medium armor. Okay, and not there Is are that... some. There are some that have what medium armor are you wearing? Chainmail. Yeah, then you have disadvantage. Oh. Chainmail is not medium. Yeah, chainmail is heavy. Anyways. Oh, chainmail is. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, it is. Chain shirt is medium. Uh. So. You have to make your way up. Through it. And you guys get to the very outside of the bar. Now, there's one thing I need to 
change because uh, Tree, you'll see Bellamine, but Bellamine is not where she is on the map. Alrighty. Why is this one? So, you guys can basically see what you can see. Mad, this does have your full vision, by the way. Okay. Does that still count for this? Uh, it, it has your your updated. Okay. Um, is there anyone that doesn't have? Isn't this... I, I don't. I don't have anything. We have that those lanterns. Yeah, yeah I guess I have to update that because you didn't have them before. Right. Uh, no so problem. All players too late. How 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 down are you keeping it? Like, ten feet. Yeah. I'm just going to do 10 feet radius instead of doing just one area because you can right. swing it around. Um, anyone else that's not able to see currently? Uh, am I supposed to be away from the party? Uh, you and Ileana are next to each other. Uh, you have a lantern too, right? Wait. That's why you can't see anything yet. Hold on. Now you can see it. Okay. You didn't have to worry about... um. Craig, that's why. Mad did not get assigned to live. That's why his isn't showing up on stream. Bam, bam, done. I can picture as I'm walking, the sight gets better and better. Yeah, you don't quite understand why. But your eyes have seemingly adjusted. There's a small rumbling in your pocket, Mad. Oh. Pull out the gem. Just a small bit of, like a flicker of green, that subsides. Look back where we came. It doesn't seem to be anything. It seems to more be reacting to you than oh. its intended purpose. Okay. Put it back in my pocket and keep walking. What's that? It's a gem from home. It's really pretty. Thank you. Those are what gems are called. It's pretty. What'd you say? Never mind. I didn't hear you in or, in or out of character. I, I I didn't hear what you said. Sound like you said, uh, is that what gems are called? It's pretty. Uh, I was going to say that's what gems look like. That's pretty. She never seen a gym before. Okay. Oh. So, you guys have made it to the outside of these. You realize that the, the, the houses are not on fire. That's good. Wait, didn't Bellamy tell us that they were on fire? It looked like these. It looked like the houses were on fire. She tilts her head. Give me a perception check. You don't seem to be able to say thing. I would say Matt or Thomas. You could also give me perception checks based on position. Okay. None of you seem to be able to see why they wouldn't or wouldn't, but you also looked out and saw them on what looked like they were on fire. Quite unsure. What, From a distance. Yeah, quite unsure what what is, or maybe it's a different row, but you're not sure at this point. Uh, actually, Antlin, you have dark vision, and Rosalind, you also have a um, thing. So you guys can, Antlin, you can give me one because you'd be able to see it better than Rosalind would. Rosalind make perception? Uh, yeah, it would be a disadvantage based on your position and the source. You hear me better, try. by the way? We can. Um, six, nope. you don't know us, I think. No one knows. We are all too worried about... Oops. You guys, yeah. Very much. And then you begin to... Oh, I'm on the wrong... I'm on this. I'm on the character one. I'm not on the one I need to be on. 
You then begin to hear the whole... From down below you. They're here. Um, who's here? Sorry, I got disconnected for a few seconds. The gnolls. We can hear them. Oh! You hear a scream, and mad at the edge of your vision. You see what looks like a, a teenage to maybe a young adult female being dragged out of a house by a gnoll. Arms seem to be bound and being dragged behind it. We've got to move fast. They're taking... Let's go. Why? I don't know. I, I don't speak their language, but... Doesn't make any sense. They they killed a bunch of the. I assume they went around killing a bunch of the livestock. They were looking for food, and we were in the way, or we were just considered food to them at that point. If you are moving and attempting to be in stealth, you're going to stop all this. And just tell me if you're going to open up your light anymore. <laughs> There's a cluck clack as Mad comes around the stone cascading off another one. And these ones that you can see down here, Mad? All yep. I didn't mean to do that. They all look and you just hear this. As they point towards you. And all of them look up, kind of standing. Thomas, at the very edge of your light, you see more looking in Mad's direction on the other side of the house. And they all just grab those, you know, those sickles as uh, they seem to be ready for a fight. Roll initiative, everyone. Why am I the one that's always starting fights? <laughs> um. Wait, uh, you don't have to fight? Well, are we all at full health for this? Uh, some people no. Oh, if you spent hit dogs. No, I don't. I did not spend any hit time. Oh well. Did you get, I know a bunch of us were like healed and then some yeah, of us didn't take damage. Everyone had been healed and didn't take damage. Some people did, so they would have to spend their hit time. Mm-hmm. Is everyone in? I have Thomas, Ileana, Mad, Antlin, Bran, and Rosalind, and I uh, roll for Bellamine, but not necessarily here right now. Oh, the laugh is back. Don't you worry. K4. The laugh is back. And I probably should roll for this one. Let me just put this in to this way when it does decide that it needs to fight. It will. Is her little squirrel buddy still on her head? Yep. Oh! Be huh? careful! Can she take him off and stuff in her bag? Yeah. You, you, just, you kind of put him on, in the bag. Just starts holding and eating as many grapes as possible. Oh. Oh, that one's not whispering. There we go. And there's that, and that, and that. And we will. Descending. Thomas! Oh, well, squirrel right. didn't run away. So, where did I see him? You see them. Are you. At this point, you just kind of see him at the edge. You know that they know your allies are there. You're just lighting up your lantern to full purpose. Split. All that you do yep. is a free object interaction. Okay. That's fine. You still have the draw before you know, on this turn. So there's. All right. Uh, I, oh wait, they go sixty, right? They go sixty thirty. Bullseyes. Uh, Rosalind, I guess I'm going to ask you the same thing as someone with a lantern. Yes. You're running full. Okay. So sixty wait. thirty. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, there you go. 
So that's done. Thomas, you kind of pull back that the thing and you see a, a number of these individuals, these uh, you know civilians, kind of tied up, shackled, chained around this uh, fountain, like they've been rounded up. And you see a good, good number of them. Can I, they've yet uh, to notice the, you, at least. Can I set the lantern down and pull out my bow? Yeah. I'll say you can, and then you just, just remember to pick it up if you move. This way I don't have to make a secondary light source. Okay. Um, and uh, I guess I'll shoot the one that's... the furthest from my vision right here. Okay. I'll shoot him. You will have advantage. You, it has not... You were technically in stealth. And did not okay. initiate combat. Okay. 22 is it. Uh, and Steve. So 17. Ames fires. They are whistling. You hit this thing right in the neck as it spins around. Almost a kill. But uh, it, it looks pretty bad off. It's kind of grasping its neck, trying to stop the blood loss. Anything else? Um, he'll uh, point out to Antlin and he goes, that one's injured. Um, protect the people. And uh, he'll... <sighs> I doubt he can do this, but he'll try to stealth where he is. Yeah, you get nothing to hide behind, unfortunately. Okay, so I'll move, over here. I'll move over here. Okay. And stealth. So I will, I will create a, a laser thing. So you can stop. Roll, roll ahead. I, I will uh, take your light off and put it where you were. Right. I apologize. I didn't. No, no, that's fine. I have no problem doing it. Just you'll have to remember to grab it. What'd you get? Ten. You were this square. Yes, sir. So. All players see light. Yeah. I'm going to take your light away from you. Okay. Yeah, you seem... You, you think you're pretty hidden. You okay, duck around the corner, yep. open it and see you. Yep. All right. No thing you need uh, Definitely heard the whistle. But the arrow didn't... Looks up. Unsure if it sees you or not. Looking at its movement speed. Gets to here. Mad. Looks right at you. Just growling, baring its teeth. Looks to the person okay. that's chained up. And it's gonna make an attack on the NPC. Oh, man. For a natural 20. It rips this NPC's throat out. Blood just splattering everywhere. And you kind of get that, that laugh, that sick laugh. Which you understand it's speaking to you. It's not just a laugh. It's try, it's communicating. But you, but it's still at the same point. just resonates, you know, that laugh. Because it's just killed an innocent life. Okay. And it is uh, now going to be the kind of lackey's turn. So, as I move these guys, they are going to be covered. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Gets up to you, Mad. And is going to make... Uh, it's going to attempt to bite you first. What's your AC? Oh, uh, man. Hold on. 13. 13. Comes in, leching, just breaks down on your shoulder. You push it off, but you take 5 points of damage. And then it's going to try and kick the sickle and, uh, you know... Kind of hurt you a little bit more. Twice. Uh, for a miss and a miss. Uh, the second one. 30. Gets to there. And we are playing true flanking rules, which means you have to be diagonal. Yep. And that one double moves. Gets to there. So, just so you're aware, blue is double moved. Green and orange did not. Uh, these ones. 10, 15, 20, 20, 
30. Gets to there, gets by your light. Gets to <coughs> And pink, yellow, and purple antlers. They're all gonna throw. Uh, well, sorry, the back two. So pink and yellow pull out their bows. Yeah. They don't have bows. Never mind. That's it. That's all they do. These ones don't have bows. This one that you, you nearly mauled comes over here. It's still got its hand on its throat, blood squirting out from the arrow. Ileana. Uh, she'll look to Roslyn and Mad. She'll look back to Roslyn and she'll wince. And then she'll look to the uh, Noel and she'll say, Bad dog. No attacking the. Attacking the townsfolk. That's her viciously mocked. On which color? Red? Yeah. Or the big, or the one, okay. On red, so roll me your damage, I will roll you a save. Okay. DC 15 wisdom save, which it fails, so it'll take three damage, and its next attack is at disadvantage. Anything else, Ileana? That's it. Okay. Rosalind. Rosalind is gonna go... Remember, one hand is occupied by your lantern. Sadly, that is true. Unless you set is it down it... And, and run off. What is setting it down? Is that... It's a, I'll call it your object interaction. Object interaction? Which is a free. Okay. You're not, you're not doing much other than just setting it down as you run off. I don't mind that. Can I, like, move, set it down, and then yeah. track? Yeah. Okay. So, she will move. <laughs> um. So, stop where you're going to set it down first. And then just make sure you evacuate she... that square so I can put it down. So, she'll set it down right here. You're right next to Mad. And then, okay. yeah, and Go then she'll move. just... And I'm gonna step right here. I'm gonna edit your token so that you do not have light on your number. Okay. But you still can see from the lantern. Yeah. And she will use two handed at the uh, at red. red. Okay. And she gets two attacks this time. Yes, she does. Uh, both will hit. 13, so 24 damages. You see Rosalind, the first swing coming down with this thunderous uh, speed. Mad, quicker than you've seen her strike before. She then quickly turns the blade and is able to get a second attack off for the first time. And Rosalind, this is the first time you've ever been able to strike that quick. You're not quite sure how. You just she, learned that. She'll just grin and she'll look at the other three and she'll just give them a big and, growl. Like just a... <sighs> You did get a short rest, so your Axe and Surge and Second Winds are back. Yeah. Mad, your spells would be back. Uh, okay. I don't think anyone else has anything that charges on a short rest in front of you would be back. Um, she Ileana, will... Font, is Font 5th level? I think so. The game, did you get Font yeah. of Inspiration? Yeah. All of your Inspirations are back. Oh, cool. So... Yeah, she'll turn, she'll look at the three, and she'll be like, <laughs> Yo, next. <laughs> they all kind of yip and motion. Come on. That will be her end. Okay. That thing does what it does. Matt, it's your turn. Leave the people alone. Hold person on the uh, big guy. Try to look. Can it be held? 
Not a clue. On the big guy? Yep. Oh. If it's a person. It on you throw it out towards that one, knowing that gnolls are humanoids, okay? Okay. But the spell just bounces off of it. Give me an arcana. Oh. 14. 14. This gnoll. Here, I'm going to whisper this to you. Okay. As a voice kind of whispers into your head. It's the best way I can RP this out because you wouldn't have knowledge of this. Imagine warlocks get like little whisperings in their ear all the time from their patrons for stuff. Yeah, it's very annoying. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You know, can you bring me some eggs home? Yeah. There you oh, go. this is where I start cursing under my breath. <laughs> Shulele, and that's it for me. Okay, Antlin. I had to check because they're different. Hello? Hello, Spongebob. We can hear you. It is your turn. Atlan is going to rush up to purple and then... Okay. He's going to make some attacks with the short sword. Uh, bonus action, he's gonna Hunter's Mark this thing. Purple, okay. Um, hold on, I don't have any spell slots. We're good, never mind. Okay. I'm just gonna make Two my, attacks. my, uh... The three attacks with Ranger. Yeah, two main yeah. and an offhand. Uh, Those both hit. Okay, really first two. Twenty. Barely standing. It just kind of moves out, and it's gonna take a. Uh, it's just gonna take a swipe at you, as uh, you met one. What's your AC? Fifteen. Yeah, as you go off balance with your offhand, you again. This is the first time you've been able to attack this fast. Kind of throwing you off balance slightly. It uh, gets. It's you know um, that sickle. Right into your side, you take six points of damage. Okay. And that will take us to Brian. Alright, I am going to... Here. Here. Thank you. Let's see. Seb, so can I point something out real quick? Yes. Um, you, Bill Mains are not in turn order. Yeah, I told you to roll for her. Okay, but she's not yeah, in turn order. She's, she's not time. in the fight yet. Yeah, I saw that. I just okay, no problem. When you came back up, I noticed it. So at the end of your turn, okay. roll for Bill because she's in there. I did roll for her. I rolled 14. It didn't come up. I'll, I'll have it. Go ahead. You didn't click the okay. token. I think I thought I did. Okay, um... And um, I'm going to drop the torch on the not grass ground. Uh, if they had the lanterns, you wouldn't still have the torch. You would have put it out. You, you wouldn't have oh, okay. been yeah. carrying an open flame trying to sneak. That's true. Yeah. Um, so I will have my glaive. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack twice. Okay. Which color? Um, we'll go or orange. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and get lucky on my first attack. No, I yeah, did not. Swing and a miss. <laughs> and regular and not one. Yeah, you just kind of smash. You hear as you as you come. It it sidesteps and you you shatter this poor guy's window. He's having Oops. a really bad day. 
Sorry. Sorry, Farmer Frank. <laughs> she has a... Never mind. Alright, anything else for him? Um, that is... all. Okay, Thomas. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at Purple. Okay. Purple is barely alive, by the way. Right, but I can't see anything else. Well, I, I'm gonna you can step around the corner and shoot. You're still hidden. Okay, so I'm gonna step around the corner. Yeah. Um, which one's the one I've already shot? Uh, this one right back here, right below. Blue. Okay. Shoot at pink. Okay. Uh, do I have advantage? I'm sorry. You do, because you barely beat its pass with the total cover bonus. Yay, barely. 26, 26 is a hit. 10. 20 damage. You leave this one barely alive. It's Another one just grips up, grabs his throat, blood squirting everywhere. Go back over here and hide again. Yep. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looks, continue to look at you, man. Steps down. Picks yep. one up as she screams, having just witnessed. And looks to you. And waits, holding its action. Uh, the no plus dogs. We're going to start on the left side of the map. Antlin! This one's going to attack you three times. Okay. Miss, hit, hit. Ten damage total. There's two. Okay. Hit you twice with the, uh, that, like, hook thing. Uh, pink runs up. One hand on its its throat, the it's attempting to bite you first, misses. Uh, AC is a what? Thirteen. Fifteen. Fifteen okay, misses, and meets another you know hook into you for uh, three damage. Gets to there because they don't understand flanking rules. Uh, bites. And two short swords. Bites into your back, and then just puts a puts that sickle right into it. You take a total of nine damage from two attacks that hit you. All right, still up. He's yelling in pain. Yeah, this one back here grabs one of the prisoners and puts puts her in front with that uh, that sickle right across its neck, just looking for uh, the one that's injured it. So basically looking for you, Thomas. Okay. Blue, green, and orange. Charge. Forward. So. Uh, Roslyn, we're going to deal with you first. Bring. So you're going to you're gonna take two bites and uh, two, two short swords. What is your AC? AC is a 16. You're going to be hit four times. Uh, Bring so it. You, you know, one bite gets you. The you know, as, as you try to move over, the second one bite criticals you. Natural oh, 20. God. That's uh, 10 damage so far. You duck out of the way of one of the short swords, but the other one hits you, the, the sickles, for seven. So it's a total of 17 damage. <sighs> Oops. I'm still standing. <laughs> okay, is that what you're after you're taking your hit points off? Yes, that was. So, uh, Bryn, what's your AC? <laughs> 13. Okay, you are going to be hit uh, by three sickles. The bite and one of the sickles misses. You're going to take 16 points of damage. And okay. they just start tearing into you. Okay. Ileana. Oh, that's me. Uh. Standard cast? Yeah. Standard casting rules? Yeah. Okay. I forgot for like two seconds. <laughs> it's okay. Uh. Ah, 
Yeah, she would um, run up to Roslyn and like uh, pat her on the back to be like, and just say, uh, "Keep going. Don't give up." She gonna do a cure wounds at third. You feel Ileana, you know, pat your back. Rosalind, as you watch as your wounds start healing themselves quickly around as you take 16 healing. Uh, uh, Rosalind will shiver at that and continue to make the mental, mental note of having to talk to Matt and Ileana about what the heck they're doing. Don't kill me! Mad. Uh, oh, you're more sorry about that. Yeah, uh, she would, uh, as her bonus, she would inspire Mad. Okay. Just to be like, don't give up. It'll be okay. And then she'll run back. Okay. Mad, at the very end, edge of your view, you see a darting wavering flying at something on the roof before you see this, this like, shimmer of metal that hits it impacts it, and sends it cascading down, splashing into the fountain, and it is not moving. Oh, no. And you see this bright red burning eyes on top of this roof, just watching and waiting. Rosalind. <laughs> She'll attack the one in front of her. Okay. Actually, no, which one's more wounded? Which one did, uh... None of them been hit. None of them. Okay, so the one in the middle. Those are both hits. A total of 11 damage. Mm -hmm. yeah, bring the, you bring the sword across a couple times, opening up some wounds as blood seeps into the fur. Still looks pretty healthy. Out on my way. Valley, y'all. I have a question about the um, the lantern, though. Could that be attached onto her side? Not with what you currently have. You could eventually try and figure something out to make it, but not hmm. uh, not not with it swinging around. It is an open flame. Okay. Oh, all right. It's not like uh, okay. I get it. That thing does what it does. Matt, it's your turn. This thing is holding. I'm I just know. waiting for anything. They're gonna keep on killing the prisoners until we stop. I call that out to everyone. I take a step forward. I brandish my quarterstaff and cast Agath uh, Armor of Agathus. Okay. As soon as you step forward and begin uh, your motions, it just rips this thing's throat out. And you hear yeah. that sickly laugh again. As you hear screaming, because the people there are just watching them just basically right. tear the throats out of loved ones. Bonus action. That's everything I could do. Okay. Antlin. Antlin is going to call out to Thomas and say... So pink, pink, purple, and blue red have all been injured. They're all kind of yep. barely standing. Antlin going to call out to Thomas and say, You should really help me. And then he's going to snarl, look at each of them once, and then he's going to attack uh, pink first. Okay, so roll pink first. That is a miss. Okay, he's gonna attack it again. That is it. Uh, yeah, you all, you kill it. Purple. Okay. That is a hit. Which is a kill. You, your, and deck, then your deck is high enough for it to kill something. Horde Breaker. To attack, uh. Or, uh, Yellow. Before he fell. Which gives me an, an extra main hand attack as a. as an ability. As a bonus or as a 
link the ability for me. Just to double check. Uh, First time you're using it. And since you can... It's a Horde Breaker. Once on each of your turns, when you make an attack with a with a weapon attack, you can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature within yep. five feet yep. of the original creature. Yep. You, so. you probably should only copy the... Uh... Oh, that's everything you have? Yeah. Only copy the ones that you're using. 19. 19 is a hit. For eight. For eight. And he's... He's gonna reposition himself and swing around. Like, he's basically doing, like, this yeah, twirl. Yeah, he's kind of trying to get himself in a better position. That will take us to Brienne. I am... I will attack. Um... Matt, did you see anything about her dragon going cascading into the water? Nope. Okay. I need well, her focused. Gotcha. I will try my luck. Hey, wait. Again, first attack. Okay. Seth, I have an extra main hand attack. Why is with these low freaking rolls? Uh, tell me how it is after 15 hits. You're attacking which color? Um. The same one Green I wanted to yeah. Orange or pink? Roll damage. Then I'm gonna jump. Okay. So for 17. <laughs> okay. You see her miss the first one and kind of jump up, stabbing in, getting her, her feet on this thing's chest as she drives this uh, glaive into it. And then kind of land right back next to you, um, there, Rosalind. Thomas. Okay. First of all, Thomas is going to call back to Anlin. I should really help you? Are you kidding me at this point? Um, I've almost down like three of them! He's going to go around the corner. And at the very edge make of that one. Yep, make me a big reflex save. It's been waiting for you. Okay. Uh, See, here's go really cool. It's just it's a reflex. Sorry, dexterity saving throw between you okay. and me. I'm okay. so used to. Not one. Well, it not twenty. So we got both ends of the spectrum. As soon as right. it comes, oh. you see that that that's, you hear that sickly laugh and the grin on its face as it just pulls the uh, held action, killing someone that you grew up with. We'll call them Bob. You know. He owed me money. And now, it's, um, now yours goes up. Just out of curiosity, at the very edge, I see the uh, fountain and I see uh, Bellman. Do I see Bellman in the water? You didn't, you didn't see Bellman in the water. It's all the way in to this. Uh, right. Fountain. But do I see it now? Or do I see her now? No, she's underneath. It's just, there's no way for me to do partial heights. So you actually have no clue where the dragon is. Damn, I was, actually hoping, I was actually hoping I did. What, you for cinematic purposes. No, for cinematic purposes. Um, hold on. You were here. Mm -hmm. You're looking, hiding, and keeping your eyes here. Give me a perception check. Okay. Because your light is just enough on that corner to hit it. You saw her get knocked out of the air and one shot it into the water, sm slamming into it. By some, you couldn't see what hit it, but you you saw it at least land. Okay. Um, Thomas is going to, uh, you know, he saw it land, saw it land in the water. It's not land in the water, and it's not getting back up. Right. So Thomas um, aims his bow uh, towards the water where Bellman fell. Okay. He mumbles to himself. You know, he, he pauses for just a split second and says, "This is because you saved my mother." And then he'll aim it at red, blue, and open fire. Okay. Fifteen's ahead. It's you don't need to roll sneak attack, turning down. Okay. Just kind of falls the sickle landing uh, between the two of them. All right. So. Um... Can I drop my weapon and draw my sword, or no? Yeah, well, let's do it. Okay. I mean, you, I mean, you, got, you got a bonus, enemies. 
All right, so we'll go here. Yep. And for the bonus, you can you can sling your uh, bow over your oh, shoulders. Back. Yep. And That'll pull, work. Pull that out was your object reaction. That'll work. Uh, so that's Thomas. Mad. He continues to lock eyes with you and mm -hmm. picks up the next one. Girl, no more than like six, seven years old. He just picks her up by the hair. She's just suspended there. And he looks towards you. Flush though, so Antlin, it's a smell blood on you, so it's going after you. Oh god, okay. Uh, you're looking, it's looking for a 15. So yep. you dodge the bite, it kind of swings back, swings, goes to swing at you in the second attack. Notices Thomas coming up, misses, but then corrects it with a second sickle right into your side for seven points of damage. I'm not looking good. <laughs> uh, all three of these... So, let's see. They're going to maintain their same targeting. Rosalind. Two bites, two short swords. Okay. One... 16 Just one hit. One of the bites gets you for four points of damage. And, uh, Bran. One bite, four short swords. What's your AC? Okay. 13. So, that is one. That's 13. 16 points of damage as one of the bites critically hits you, ripping out another you know, chunk. And then just, again, placing that sickle right in the injury. Okay. None of them came after me? Nope. They've been, these, these, remember, you haven't really been hurting them. Right. They're going to go for the people they've been hurting. And you think oh, that I, the other no. I was thinking that he's been told. It could be. You don't know what they've talked about either. Ileana. Uh -huh. Hey, Lynn, we have three over here. It looks like they're they're killing. Can I see that they're killing people, or can I? Can, see can you there? actually see on the map? I can. can I can see, see like. Yes, I can then see at least two of them. them. Yes. Okay, uh, they're killing the 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 the, the people they rounded up. Um. I don't know how many there are. Like how many of the the jackal things? She's trying to get the to talk to her. To, I don't know if you can, because she I can't see. Turn. Okay. Unless they want to use the reactions, they probably don't. No problem. Since they both have reactions, they can commit less than uh, damage yeah. or such. Yeah, she doesn't know that though. Yeah. She can't see him, so I'm. Well, just, it's all happening. Remember, all this stuff's happening at the same time. Even though your turn's here, it's the same six seconds. Oh, okay. One turn is a total of six seconds in the combat. Cool. Like one round, uh, I should say. Uh, then she would step out. Uh. I... She would step up. Just a little bit. And, uh, oh, she could see the big. Th I could barely see that big thing. It looks mm -hmm. like. Does it look like it has somebody? Oh yeah, it's got like a six-year-old little girl. By the hair. And it seems to be staring intently at Mad. Oh, don't she do that? What? Oh, God. I don't know what's going on. 
but I'm I'm Yeah, no, if if it stared intently at Mad, she would um Vicious Mock the one that's next to Bar Bar Baron. Baron Baron Baron. Thank you. That one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Did it go? Uh, I'm not seeing it yet. You can just tell me what's, uh, what, what you wrote in your DC. There it is. Okay. DC 15, it fails. Oh. What do you say? What is your viciously mocking you? Uh, she would say, um, bad dog. Don't, um, don't attack. The ears kind of twitch, looking towards you, looking at the words. Brand and Rosalind, you see this, there's like a little graze in, in its skin from behind its skull, and then it just seems to, to explode, blood dripping out of its mouth as it keels over and dies, as you just viciously mocked it to death. Which is oh. what you asked for last time. <laughs> Rosalind's oh, eyes God. widen and, he, and she just kind of looks back at Ileana like, what? Whose reaction is probably like, what as well? What? She looks back to you wide-eyed. I'm sorry. She just shakes her head and just... I'm sorry, don't kill me, I'm sorry. Anything else on your turn? Yeah, I'm gonna scuttle back over here. <laughs> Away from Rosalind, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's gonna inspire Baronine. Like, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a hole. Go get him. You can do it. I'll be hiding over here for Rosalind. Rosalind. Brian. Yeah. Brian, ah. Brian, you gotta, you have this question. Okay, so let me see. She, she'll first attack the uh, green again. Okay. Out. My Hit. way. Hit. Get out of my way! That is a kill. Chopping it down. It's looking over at its friend that just had like a, a brain aneurysm and died. As, as like you chop one of its arms off, it looks back at you. And clean, take that. Can I pick up the uh, uh, bonus, uh, lantern? Yeah. Bonus lantern. Okay. Okay. So she's gonna pick that up, and then she's gonna. She sees the guy holding the girl. You can only move thirty feet. That is true. She'll start running over there, even despite uh, with the um, opportunity. Okay, it will make okay. its opportunity as you run by. Ah! He sees a 16, right? 16. As soon as you come up, his eyes train to you and it rips this girl's throat out. Yeah. Dropping the, the husk of this child to the ground. Before oh, you Rosalind. not want to kill him. Rosalind is not happy. Period. Right. So, did the blue one attack? Yeah, I missed you. Okay. That I will your have turn. your fangs. Mad. Yes. You watch as Rosalind charges up and just coldly rips the throat from this little girl dropping into the ground. You know I'm gonna have nightmares now. Yeah, I know. It's my job. It's involved reactions. Yep. So it's your turn. Is it still looking at me or is it Rosalind now? Oh, it's definitely gonna tie on Rosalind. Gonna move around this one. Mm -hmm. He was already and... using his reaction. Oh. Yeah. Oh, more than. 
And you, get, you have a nice view of that other one up on the roof. Only you do. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right. Um, if I'm next to a friendly, I don't get disadvantage on range, right? Yeah, it's only if you're a, a, a opposing an enemy. And I use less of my um, movement and try to untie this one. Okay. Um, they are shackled. I will need. Oh. I will need dexterity. Said. Yeah, they're they're tied together with shack shackled and. There's, there's, there's chain. It's not real. I may have described it wrong. But now being up okay. here this close, they are chains. I'd still try to do it. You give said dex? Give, are you trying to pick it or trying to break it? There's no way I can pick it. So I'd try give to break it first. Give me a strength check. Matt just grabs his hands, tries to pull as hard as he can to just the, the chain not budging. Okay. That's it for me. Okay. Antlin. Uh, out of, I'm sorry, out of character. Can you use Bardic Inspiration on that? Mm -hmm. Or is it just... Yeah. Oh, I thought it was only on saves. Nope. But saves, right. attack rolls, ability checks. Antlin's going to use his bonus action first, so he's going to use his, um, his uh, offhand okay. to... Okay. Yep. I will allow that, but you have to use your action to attack. Oh, okay. You only get the bonus off in if you use your action to attack. So as long as you're willing, as long as you're going to attack as your action, you're good. Okay. So then let me just make the other two attacks then. Okay. Uh, the first and last hit. Oh, all three hit. Advantage. The third hit doesn't need to come into play. You kill it in two. So then, okay. So that's the case. He does nods to Thomas and then he'll take off. This direction. Fifteen. Oh. Uh, is there any? There's no. There's no other knolls that I can see. My perception. Right. Okay. You see some. Uh, what looks to be a knoll. On this rooftop, standing now. You have you have, you don't need light to see it, so it's you can see up into the darkness. Okay. That was it's, uh, it looks looks hardy, Antlin. All right, I'm gonna head down that way. That's thirty movement. Um, I can't do anything else. That's my turn. Okay, Bran. Actually, I would call right. out the knoll on top of the roof. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna attack um, this little guy here. Alright. That is it. 15 and a natural 20. 11. That's already a kill. Oh! Ooh. Just two quick strikes. And then I will run thirty feet. Yeah. Okay. And that's my turn. At the top of the round, Thomas, before you go. This thing stands yes, to its full height. No this one that you guys see down here. Is about like the lot, the one you guys fought at the end. You know, a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, no weapons, all claws and you know, teeth. This this one standing up on top of the roof, which the ones only Matt and Antlin can see, but have been called out to everyone. The rest of you here, three distinct metallic thuds and the clanking of chains as they impact into this roof. Stands up to its full height, another foot or tall, so taller than the one on the ground, and looks towards all of you. Just lets out this almost like to your core chilling um, howl, and then speaks in this 
harsh tongue, which is a language that none of you understand, Adam. No one speaks Abyssal, correct? Uh, no. no. Nope. You hear this, and it's almost painful into the ears of some of you. Language that cascades as it seemingly is addressing all of you. And Thomas, it is your turn. Alright, so Thomas is gonna grab the lantern. Alright, go down here, and he sees this one. You, you have the lantern with you? Yeah. And where was the other one you said? It's up on top of this. You can't see it with the lanterns. Okay. You'll be firing into darkness. Alright. Because the lanterns um, don't do that high end. Thomas is going to try to stealth on that side of the building. Mm hmm. Because he doesn't know the other one's there. Yep. And um, he'll hold his action until the others you know, do something. Okay. Flesh knives are all dead. Real, real quick, I'm going to draw my bow while I have the chance. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This one seems to cackle. That, that demonic laughing word. I know you guys love this one. And it's going to, uh... It's going to move here first. Taking its claws. Slicing this one open. Right in the gut as its intestines spill out. Blood everywhere. It just tries to call for help. And then it rushes up. Matt, it sees you trying to free it. Yep. Takes its claws on that one, killing it. And then bites at you. Uh -oh. For uh, 14 points of damage, man. It takes 15. Okay. I went up. Cold? Yep. yep. Just making sure it didn't have any. Uh, I'm down to one temp. Yep. Just making sure it didn't have any. Uh... Resistance. Yeah. Doesn't seem to. Don't touch me. Eliana. She's heard terrible things from around the corner, so she yes. moves up. Oh. Um. Dead bodies in the uh, alley. I mean, she's still technically alive, just not for long. <laughs> oh, okay. Her intestines are kind of outside of the body. Live for a little bit longer than that. It's not a good existence. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't understand your language, growly person. Because she could tell that they were, like, it was trying to talk, right? It's just. Yeah, I actually. I, I, I don't. Um, do you speak common? This just that uh, looks towards you. Uh, yes. Y you assume it's a no. No. Um. Sorry. Uh, leave Matt alone, bad doggy. Uh. In the market. Okay. The words seem to fall upon deaf ears as he passes his save. Oh, okay. Yeah, rolled, that makes sense, actually. He rolled a 19. No, so, it makes sense. Anything else you'd like to do in your turn? Uh, yeah, it's got one. Baroning has one. Um... <sighs> I've got it. Um, I do I... No. 
I don't know where. I don't know where Thomas and the Antlin are. And... Can, can I, um... I, I, I can draw a dagger that I have and... Yeah, you can move up and draw your dagger and get into the fray. Yeah. Oh, hey, Evan. I moved up and I can see you. <laughs> Moving does that sometimes. How about that? That's, uh... That's her turn. Okay. So, next on the turn of the eight. Is responding something is Rosalind. She was stepped down to this side. I believe that would be an advantage since it's going across. Uh, let me double check. I'm back to my player. Okay. Try to move Yes, that is advantage. She will scream at it and attack. What are you screaming at it? I'm curious. Bad doggy! <laughs> it doesn't seem to have the same effect as Eliana scream bad doggy. However, you crit! And the second one, I believe, misses. Give me a second. Just getting something. Uh, yeah, the second one misses. Damage, it did work, just in a different way. Anything else? She will continue to growl and taunt at it. That's your turn? Yes. Okay. This thing lands with a thud. Just standing up again to its full height. Dragging this flail behind it. It looks. Uh, everyone that can see it, give me a perception perception check first. Oh, everyone that can see him. Yes. The bottom one. <laughs> really? Oh. Uh, Mad Firefly, Brian, Thomas. You can see it, can't you? Uh. Is it right here? Yeah. Okay, I can. I. It's behind the shadow of this. En uh, enough. Enough to see. Thing. Okay. I, I give it to you. All right. So Brian. Hey, Alan, you and I are the same team. Brian, Mad, and Ileana, all roll me insight checks. The three of you. It's been watching, and it seems pleased that there's a challenge out here. You're not sure still why these people are being rounded up, but it seems like taking you is a better deal. As it sprints towards Roslyn, it's going to uh, begin its multi-attack on you, Roslyn. <laughs> Bring it! Yeah, you Stop saying that. that. <laughs> Stop saying that. Why, right. Rosalind? <laughs> What's your natural 20 first hit? Oh, ouch. I Don't need a bring DC it. 16 wisdom save. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Wisdom? Yep. Yeah. She has no wisdom. You've gone temporarily mad. And you've taken 19 points of damage. Uh, ouch. Oh. So what does the mad thing do? I'll tell you when it gets your turn. I've taken oh, how much? Second one. Still up, right? Was that 19? 19, one nine. Oh. Second attack. Mm. What's your mm. AC? Mm. 16. 25 to hit. Ow. Okay. You take 10 points of bludgeoning and 26 points of psychic damage. She's down. 
Then she is down. Rush up. And swing. Oh. Hmm. Actually, gonna step right here. It's gonna swing it mad. What's your AC? 13. It will hit then. Roll the 13. It takes 15 cold. Okay. And I have one tip left. I already said the result. You have to do it for result. Oh, you can do it on okay. damage. Okay, cool. Would you like to roll it on damage? Yeah. So take down a bardic inspiration, roll your cutting words, and then I'll tell them what the damage is. Okay. And it's is it the same as it's the you same, same as, as the bardic as inspiration? Bardic inspiration so nine. You'll take eight. You'll take eight actual damage, counting in your one temporary already. And I need a Constitution saving throw from you. You feel all of your muscles as you hit by it lock up. You are considered paralyzed, paralyzed. until the end of its next turn. Okay. So your turn goes by, Andalyn. Okay, um... Atlan is going to... Can I get there? Like, I accidentally shut down, shut off, or closed the, uh... The laptop I'm on, so it's, it's, uh, reopening. Um... Said so you need are you trying to get to either one of them? Yeah, I got thirty feet of movement. I'm trying to yeah, get you can to get the next creature. To Mad. You can get up next to Mad. Uh, the one with the flail is the closest one to you. The creature? Yes. The creature with the flail is the closest one that you can hit. Alright, I'll make all my attacks on it. Alright, am I rolling for you then? Uh, for right now, yeah. I'm loading up right now. Two main hands and an offhand, right? Yeah. It's AC, so... Miss, hit, hit. For 15 damage. Alright, then he's just gonna call out. Whatever the hell this thing is, we need to surround it or something. Okay. Brand. Alright, I'm gonna move once here. Okay. And I will affect that one. Okay. Um, did you get my whisper? They do not. Okay. Unless on the last side. Okay. I will. Pray to the dice gods. Nice! It worked! 20 to hit. And. Pray to the dice gods again. Miss. Did it work? And 15 is a miss. Oh. Does. I'm sorry, does she have not have advantage? She does not have advantage. Okay. She, uh, uh, yeah, she did. No. She so swing away. Uh, roll damage on the first. Don't I'm gonna jump. Your, your part of inspiration. Okay. <gasps> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Can I do that for I've the second? I've already resolved it. I've already said it's not. You have to, you have to see it when you're gonna use it. That's the rule. Yeah. And someone else told you. Yeah. You hear that? This guy in this thing just takes the shot. Doesn't seem to worry. Okay. Anything else? Um. 
That is, yeah, that's all I can do. And that's my turn. Okay. So that'll take us to Thomas, top of the round. Real quick, because I didn't get my hold action last turn. Yeah, until they, about it. You, Dave, good to call it. I will in this case, because you're saying waiting for them to do stuff. I'll yeah. let you go with it. What is your action? Okay. Uh, I was going to shoot at uh, the, not the one with the glaive, because I was shot at the other one first. Okay, the one without weapons? Gotcha. Correct. So because that was the first one that they had. Uh, what, what did you have for a stealth? Uh, 26. Okay, yeah, you, you're in. Make sure. Make sure it's a 26. Yeah, 26. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yes. That's it. So 10, 20. Gotcha. Now it is your turn. Okay. Uh, so I'll stop again. Okay. Okay. And then he'll come out and he'll shoot uh, the one with the uh, okay. weapon. Actually, no, he'll shoot the same one he shot just a minute ago. Okay. Fire away. That's a hit. Thank you. Drops it. Oh, no, sorry. Almost drops it. Story of my day. Had 23, day. not 22. Ah, so I close. was expecting you to kill so it, to be honest with you. I, I was hoping I would as well. Okay. Um, and that's all I can do. Okay. No Fang of Yingeth is going to take the advantage on Mr. Mad for Bite. Uh, 19 points of damage, Mad. Down. Okay, it's then going to move up to half its movement speed and use a bonus action bite for Rampage uh, for another six, 16 mm -hmm. points of damage to Brian. All right. Still up? I'm down. I had 14 more points. Then time to go to there and make two claw attacks on Eliana. What's your AC, dear? Uh, actually goes a little. It's an 11. 16 points of damage. The owl. The owl indeed. It's your turn. You have a dagger out. Yeah. It looks really hurt, doesn't it? It's barely keeping itself together. It's pretty much the arrow still in it. That's why it hasn't died. It's holding enough pressure. Bad doggy, go away. She's gonna, she's gonna step bad. Okay. No. He goes to stab at it. You just your hand shakes. The dagger falls out. As you see, you know, half your party laid to waste already. Uh. Yeah. I don't want to do... Yeah. Um, for a bonus, she would say... Roslyn, get up! And she's gonna healing word you. question now. I'll explain it. You'll get your question answered on your turn. Okay. I know what your question already is. So. Don't worry. I already know your answer. So, ten. And you're pretty much out of spell slots as well, right, Oh yeah, that was your last. So, 
Not, uh, are you moving at all or are you staying there? She would be brave and stay. Okay. Hey. Melamine is down. Rosalind! Hi. You stand up and you roll me a d3. Ooh. Three. Two. Make an attack. Oh. Hmm? You guys see Rosalind awesome. get up, eyes hazy, and this, this, you know, this woman that's kind of dead there, Rosalind just slices her head off. And that's the end of Rosalind's turn. Uh, oh, God. I no longer have madness. Oh. That could have been Brian. Oh, God! So, oh. it's the Flynn's turn. Going to Antlin, what's your AC? Are you in yet? Spartans? Yeah, I'm here. Um, AC 15. Um, apparently the thing decided to update Windows. Yay. Okay. First one hits you. You'll need to make a wisdom saving throw when you're back. Okay. I'm down to two hit points. As the floor spell hits you, Comes around with a second flail at you. Which is gonna hit you and Duh. knock you unconscious. I do need it doesn't matter unless you get up. I need a I need a wisdom and a constitution save when you're in. Okay, because okay. it picks you up. It then looks between those that are here. And Thomas did not make a stealth at the end of his turn. Correct. So it's it's coming for the archer. Okay. Right there. And it's going to swing its last spell at you. Around the corner. Okay. For a 23. Okay. Uncanny. You'll take half. Uh, link me uncanny because this has a secondary effect. Just want to double check what the wording is on that for, for this attack. It's the only reason. Okay, yeah, I'll let it, I'll let it half that. Uh, so it will okay. be 7 bludgeoning and 24 psychic damage. A half, so 15 Perfect. points of damage. Okay. Gotcha. And that is its turn, which takes us to Thomas. Um. Okay, can I drop my uh, bow and get my sword as yeah. a... Uh, okay. Dropping your bows are free, object and directions are free. Okay. Get um, and uh, we still have our nat 20s from last time, right? Ones that, ones that we get them at the end, I said you could keep them. Nat 20s do not generally carry the end again. It's okay, no problem. It's basically along this, what I told Tree. It's what I told you okay. to keep, then yes. Okay. All right, no problem. I'll swing the short, short sword then. Okay. Did you want me to make them right now? 25? Yeah, after... Yeah. A 25 is that. For nine. Really? So up. I, oh, yeah. Okay, sneak attack. Yeah, it's now starting to look bloody. Okay. And, uh... Thomas will move. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then dash. 5, 10. So it will get a. No, it won't. It will not. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. I thought, I thought it was a higher level. That's why. No, I know. I know no, it's not. Yeah. Okay, it's third. I thought it was these, like the seventh or ninth. No, sir. Okay. And that will be me. Okay. 
Okay. So, that is the end of your turn. Correct. And then no will find the Green Death by Eliana. Bad doggy. Uh, eight damage on the first attack. I'm going to do it attack by attack. That's probably smart. Okay. Okay, second attack. Six damage. Here's up. Nine damage on the third attack. Oh, she's down by one. Uses Hobbit's action as a Hobbit's movement speed uh, as part of its rampage and makes a free bite attack against Rosalind. Hey. For 16 damage. She's down. And then can actually go 5, 10, 20, 20, 20, 30, over here. Uh, I'm just going to put you into a square. Okay. Which takes us to the Flynn. Can I, um, or no? Can you up? I wanted to use my net 20 to get up, but maybe not. Okay. You are not making death throws. You have no. not been, you have not been torn asunder. You've been KO'd. You don't get oh! Throws. I didn't know that. No one okay. Didn't. 20, 25, 30. I don't know if it has reach. I think it does. No, it gets to there, Thomas. It technically doesn't get to you at this turn. Play! Except actually, it double moves. There's no reason for it not to. The boo! Thomas. Yes, sir. Back to you. Am I the only one up? Am You're I the only, only one up? Only one up. Oh. All right. I just want to point out that the halfling is the only one up. I just want to throw <laughs> that out there. I'd like to point out that you stay in the back. Wow. Okay. He's going to stab at this one. Okay. Yeah, it's right by him. That's a hit. 17. 17. More than so. Okay, and then he'll move past it. Go through it. Excuse me. 5, 15. 15 You're actually 15. moving through it square? Uh, yeah. Roll me athletics or acrobatics. Um, you can, it says you can have an ally. You can share squares. Anytime you move through a creature, it can attempt to stop right. you. It, according to Halfling nimble, nimble, Nimbleness, it says you can move through a square of any creature that's your size or larger. Okay. It's anything about allies. That's why I was okay. one. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Double move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Actually, 5, 10, 15, 25, 5, 10, 15, 15. Okay, right there. Okay. Okay. 20. Comes here. Mm hmm. Looks at you. Mm hmm. Kills her. Okay. Upon reducing a enemy to zero hit points, you can move half its movement speed is free. Part of a bonus action. So 15 feet. 5, 10, 15 feet. And then okay. you move the rest of its movement speed. Okay. Up to 30. Okay. It gets to me. There. Okay. Uses the, the second part of that movement. Mm -hmm. As a bite attack. Mm hmm. So two bites on you. And mm -hmm. one claw because it already used one on you. Uh, it, so what is your AC? 15. You've been hit three times. And you have on candy back, so I don't know which one you want. Yeah. There's two bites uh, and a claw. Oh, uncanny the second bite. Second bite? It's a good call. Yep. So, seven Yay. damage on the first. And I'm, and I'm down. Thomas, you kind of just see it go down as you hit the ground, your eyes just closing. You're like, you reach towards the wound. Uh huh. You're not bleeding like you should be dying. And then you just, you see the elbow of this thing come across your face, knocking you out. Okay. So, each of you 
Make me a con save. Uh, can I use what? my net 20? If you'd like to, yes. Darn it. I want to. They will not pass, stay past this one. Yeah, I'm told you can save any. Yeah, I'll use, I'll use my net 20. So. I have one left now. Marianne, Mad, Thomas, and Ileana. Momentarily, moments of, you know, you get short moments of consciousness as you you hear like wagon wheels moving, rough roads jostled awake. Momentarily, you go to sit up to try and get out, and you're met with just basically some sort of bludgeon as you're hit. You know, this happens a few times as you make your way deep, deep into the forest. Moments of um, consciousness by 